Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Monday, October 30th, 2017. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We had a fantastic squeeze on Friday, a continuation after price had rejected our recent lows here right into support and that volume ledge right into the Pima trigger zone. That's exactly what we were looking for. Uh, and, and, and the follow through was fantastic. Obviously, we had a nice digestion day here inside day that helped for the squeeze and now we're seeing that yet again today showing more of a low range day six and a half points uh, we could see kind of a fade the edges type of day as bulls want to keep price above 65 to 68 for a continuation higher throughout the week we'll see if bulls can keep it above that zone overall but this has been a fantastic squeeze we could be looking at more upside here ahead uh, throughout the week if bulls can keep this above 65s uh, let's take a look here at the nq the NQ had a spectacular squeeze on Friday. We came right back into our 6,000 to 6020 zone between that white line and that gold line, and that was the perfect spot for bulls to defend uh, for a squeeze. And I mentioned at the time, we could be looking at a 200 to 265 point rally off that zone as price rallies into perhaps as high as 62, 64s. And Friday, we got to move as high as 62, 25. 0.75 in one day, just a significant squeeze uh, where price just rallied right through recent highs of 6090, which had been resistance and thrust higher into new highs. So this is about as good as it gets. That's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, nice push through those highs. And now after that, we're seeing kind of a digestion there yet again. Uh, usually what happens after a significant squeeze like that is you see kind of price digest that recent gain we may even see a little bit more of a pullback but overall any pullback could still be a buying opportunity for a continuation higher into that 62 64 target here's a look at crude oil we talked about crude oil also we mentioned before that we were very close and on the verge of a squeeze given the way it had looked we had kind of that ascending wedge that had been building out and i mentioned that usually leads to a major major breakout and we could finally see a move into 54 to 55, that zone up there. We closed above 54s for the first time in uh, quite a long time, big time squeeze, and now we're holding at highs. I mentioned before that this could be the final squeeze into the upper end of this trading range. If you look here, uh, this 55 level is where resistance was to begin the year. We could never quite push through that zone and instead we spent the rest of the year pulling back and finally coming back to that zone. So again, we could still see more upside here into 55s, but look at that LVN. It's a significant LVN, significant key level. We have uh, uh, quite amount of bears that are going to be looking to defend that zone. So we could see one more squeeze into that area, a little bit more strength, and then we could begin to see rejection. So if there is any type of rejection that enters the market around 55s, that could, on the whole, return price back toward value, which currently is 49.26. So right now, I still believe there's a little bit more upside to be seen, perhaps, and then we could be looking for signs of rejection that could bring us back to composite value. Lastly, taking a look at gold, we talked last week about the uh, two-day decline into 62 to 65. Uh, we mentioned before that this failed new high could lead to a two-day drop into 62 to 65. Price got as low as 62.80 before bouncing a little bit and that's exactly what we look for again when you're looking for failed new highs you want that two-day drop right into new lows we got it and now price is holding uh, above the recent support kind of a double bottom here and we got to kind of wait and see how this thing plays out because we're still basically chopping around value here's composite value we could come right back up into it uh, and so right now we're having to see how this thing plays out there's a short-term downtrend going on and again, if we see any failed new highs or failed new lows, that's going to be the key to help us identify what the move is going to be this week. So right now, uh, kind of standing away from this one just at the moment and seeing how it plays out to begin the week. Could be a little bit more chop before we see an edge play. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the rest of the week. Good luck, trade well, and happy Monday.